do do do. Moving on to sports and happy things. Hey man. Hey Joe. You a coach? I am. If your team needed you and you still had it in you, you <laughs> not there. On, you on, you gonna pretend? You Could be in, coach. I'm ready to play today. today. <laughs> Put me in, coach. Lady Lavender, you, I mean, you, I mean, black women don't crack. I mean, mm-hmm. uh, you and uh, Miss Honeybun, y'all can be motherfucking 25 or, or 55 as far as when it comes to black women. So y- you, you, you subbing yourself in for the track meet? Um, that's enough for me, dog. But that's just because I don't like to feel sore. <laughs> and because I don't know if I'm in good enough shape to kick any ass like I used to maybe be able to do. And I don't want to look like that girl who ran a 24 second 100. But okay. um, I want to see what this person looks like. Do they look like a middle school kid? A high school kid? Here's the thing. The video, you don't really, you, you can't really see her, see, the, see her face. So what we're talking about is. Does she move like she's in high school? Uh, how old was she? Did they say how old she was in real life? I believe she's 22. So this okay. little, oh, so she might be able to pass. I, I, I tricked them. I tricked them. These some of our uh, our educators here who also do some coaching. So I tricked them. So Portsmouth Portsmouth coaches fired after assistant suits up and plays in the JV girls basketball game. Junior varsity girls basketball coach and assistant coach. Church and, uh, Church and High School has been fired after the assistant principal after the assistant participated in a regular season JV game. Portsmouth uh, Public Schools confirmed Tuesday. Uh, the assistant coach, uh, uh, wow, uh, our Alicia uh, Boykins played in the game January 21st against the Naismouth Mouth uh, River in Suffolk. Uh, rumors of the coach's participation in the video are circulated on social media, blah, 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 blah. We'll play that video right here, right now. So once again, and did they have? Did the assistant coach have on the uniform the whole game and was just sitting there pretending she was a kid, or did she leave at like halftime and change out of her regular clothes and put on somebody's uniform? I, I think she just, I, I think she just suited up and just started playing. Yeah, I think she came in suited. Yep. Because mm-hmm. for a JV game, you need it so you can go on the state. Maybe, maybe she coaches. <laughs> maybe she coaches a uh, baseball or softball also because those coaches wear the uniform. Games. She got confused. Yeah, she got confused. <laughs> she got yeah. subbed in too. Well, maybe she thought she was. It was her time she to do coach third base. Yeah, something. Something. Okay. She was just very confused. We're back with a high school basketball coach now finding herself in the hot seat. Can you believe this? She allegedly posed as a student athlete. Played in a game alongside the other teenagers. What? I know. Gian Signares in the newsroom with the drama on the basketball court. And please explain this one to us. Well, guys, as you can see, that move was all caught on camera. And it's forced the high school in Virginia to... Is that Eddie Munster? Yeah. All grown up? Higher basketball season. <laughs> <laughs> it's a scandal on the court in Virginia in this junior varsity girls basketball game with a coach posing as a player. The biggest thing that we heard that, that we felt disappointment. The player in the black jersey wearing number one with the slick moves, scoring baskets, and high five <laughs> other players was actually no player at all. She's Arlisha Boykins, a member of the Churchland Truckers coaching staff. Boykins suiting up and playing as if she were a student in a weekend game against the Nansman River Warriors last month. When, when adults commit to being a coach, they take on a lot of responsibility. Adults who fail to live up to those expectations fail our students. The Portsmouth Public Schools District says the game was held at Nansman River and no Churchland administrators were there, saying they immediately investigated when it was reported. The fallout leading players on both the junior varsity and varsity girls team to call it quits. The district says, quote, players from both teams expressed they did not want to continue this season. The team's remaining opponents and officials have been notified. As for the coach, the district says Arlisha Boykins is no longer an employee. Her last day of work was January 25th. The head coach for the junior varsity team was also fired. And the executive director for the Virginia High School League says this is the second time in his seven-year tenure that a coach has impersonated a player, but there are no plans to change any regulations or procedures. In the new- Wait, is it the second time? Second time it's second been time? seven second years? Time. It's seven years. They really trying. These niggas got a track record. And it's a coach. It's not even because I've heard of the stories where like some man tries to join the basketball team or something like that, but he's just a person. 
But never a coach. I never heard a coach do this shit. Wow. Seven years Did you see five, that other JVK pusher in the back? I'm, I'm surprised yeah. she didn't try to fight somebody. And she was not playing like a JV kid either. No. So she should she have. Still looks, she, she still looks sorry, though. Yeah, a little bit. But I mean, she was, she was like moving like she had some skills. No, that shit. Them shots, she trash. I won't see. You know what? Matter of fact, I won't see her stat sheet for that night, nigga. <laughs> she had to try to play bad. Or maybe I don't she know the last time game. you watched JV girls basketball, bro. <laughs> no, but that's what I'm saying. She looks so much better. Than these JV girls, but to me, it's like you still didn't look that much better. Like it's like, yeah, you moving like a grown ass woman, but you going to get a JV competition, you still look like trash to me. She looked like a grown woman. She didn't. I'm look like upset. A grown woman. Yeah, I'm upset. I I can't believe the referees let it happen. Hmm. Well, we we at, at our Hallmark episode, our Hallmark story is gonna be about a little girl. Who looks like a little girl that a white woman called and said a little black woman is spraying bugs. That's how. Mm-hmm. That's how that. Okay. They, they don't know how we are. They like I don't know. She got. She got breasts. She either fifteen or sixty five. I don't know. She black. <laughs> She's one of them. She's one. I of them. mean, literally, yeah. So I don't know. I, I hate the world sometimes. Black. 